Seth Gross, thing of the Shazer, match number two, 61 kilograms. It was all Seth Gross in match number one. He's one who went away from a date with Dayton Fix. It was 6-2 Gross in match number one. Never really in trouble. And Gross looking to put, peel that two on one. DeShazer wisely doesn't give it up. A shot from space. DeShazer's gonna catch him in that front head position. And Gross makes his way up to his feet. They clear, they're gonna go passivity red. As Gross comes stalking immediately. Good pressure there from Gross. Oh. Right in, that single. Great pressure. Now, Shazer concedes the two yeah. in order to defend Parterre. And goes from lace to a lower gut. Out of bounds and back to the center. One minute down. Gross hustles back. Sock See, there are all kinds of adjustments to be made. Knees, socks, and now we're back at it. 152 to go. Getting off those fingers. Left-handed collar for Seth Gross, who's eyeing a rematch with Dayton Fix. And a little overtie pass by attempt from Gross. Nothing doing. Over collar there as they hit DeShazer for passivity. So he's gonna go on the clock. 30 seconds to score, or he'll give up another point. Gross had an absolutely insane quarterfinal against Jesse Mendez. 13-12 win. Jesse looked to be in the driver's seat and then Gross got on top and then it was a different story. Chap on. Turn, 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 turn. Just basically had the wrist and kept tilting him over. And the shot clock's gonna expire without a shot from DeShazer, making it 3-0. And it's Gross who fires off a single leg left side. Good down block from Daniel DeShazer. Out of the Gopher Wrestling Club, of course, wrestling at Nebraska Kearney. He's gonna run to the leg here, and I think Gross stepped out of bounds. They're gonna see one red. First one on the board for the Shazer. And they go one blue. Judge and Chair go one, and the Shazer wants the brick. Yeah, I think it's worth throwing and at this Dustin point. And Dustin Schlater says, are you sure, man? You only get one if I'm wrong. And you know, I Gross may have done it. It looked like he may have wizards down just in time to get the head to touch. So we'll get a look at it. As they pull it up. And so what you want to watch for is did Gross's entire foot step out? No, it's not his entire foot. Uh -uh. Good call. The head of DeShazer hit out first. He was right, and I think that's probably why Dustin was like, uh, Dustin saw that foot, that it wasn't out. That's why he was sort of yeah, yeah. not on board with it. You see that whole foot, and the scoreboard's in the way there, so you can't tell. Yep, not the whole foot. Yep. So just savvy but wrestling. Now is it you can't tell on that one. They should look the at the official field. one they're looking at is not quite as clear. I wish we could give them this feed. One red. I don't understand it, but uh good brick from Coach Slater. So we got it wrong. We looked at it. We got it wrong. 3-1 as it stands. Gross with the, the lead, 30 uh, seconds. The explanations on the PA, but you can't hear it over the, uh, the, the body's at the floor. floor playing. Yeah, too many bodies hitting the floor.
nice, shades nice it back to the leg. There. That's how he got that first point. Seth's trying to take him out. The Shazer did come up oh. to his feet in circle when he was out. One offered, right paddle, but one confirmed. Shazer was hoping for a grounded call, but not gonna get it there. Nice low shot from Seth Gross. Four seconds though. Is he gonna be able to finish it? Doesn't look like no, it. One, no. Oh, they got a one there at the end. Four, one, Gross. He's three minutes away from Punching his ticket to Stillwater. Well, he'll wrestle Dayton Fix if he can finish this match. And if he can, he'll get one more, one more chance at it. That's right. One more crack. So how many are we going to go three? Are we going to have any matches to go three tonight? Uh, not looking that way. I didn't get to see a lot of, uh, you know, this uh, Alex Hedrick, uh, Cameron Guerin definitely could because there was, Almost nothing happened in yeah. the entire match. So that could happen again for the other person. And Second period underway, Gross with a three point lead. Claw on four, nice. Oh, the shades it to the leg here. Seth is a trick to score on though, and he's tall and he's tricky. The foot's out at least one, and it's oh. gonna be four! DeShazer's in the lead! Two offered, four confirmed! Five, four, Daniel DeShazer, two and a half minutes to go. Yeah. He lifted up from here to Copperhead Road for that four pointer now. And just oh like that gosh. though, Gross needs to score, does. The momentum eliminator, Seth yeah. Gross, immediately gets back into the lead. Looking to wrap him up on a gut. I don't know if he's going to be able to take it over on the edge. We'll go back to the center. Still lots of time. So the criteria factor is huge here in that a, a point for DeShazer does put him in the lead. A couple more adjustments there as he makes his way back to the center. Oh, wow. Real quick with it. I guess yeah, on caution and one. I don't. That was literally maybe one second. Yeah, I don't know if I like that call, but it, it is what it is. It's a point. Seven five goes with the lead. And it and does appear that yeah. the shades are maybe slowing down, wearing down a little bit. His energy bar going a little bit lower. Yeah, and he's having Points. a hard time holding center now. Yeah. Another point. Oh, look at that goal behind. And he, he grabs a singlet. Yeah, but they a handful of singlets Other there, side of the whistle, so it didn't matter. And it didn't affect anything. And Seth is really tricky. I, it would have been fun to watch it materialize because he'll just hold that wrist, and when you circle behind, he'll hop on the roll. The Kindle roll, as uh, Mike Mal calls it. Over collar for Seth. 90 seconds to go, three point lead for Gross. The Shays are in this match though. Very much so. Oop. The Shays looks like he might be the pound for pound strongest oh my person gosh. in this building. And he's gonna get pushed out of bounds by Gross one more time. And a four point lead now as Gross extending his lead, nine five, minute 11 to go. There's a shot from Seth. We've got to step out. Shazer gets another point, so a four pointer. Yeah. Uh, it should be nine well, to six, gonna, right? Yeah. Good for the Shazer. He would get a, get a little breath. Think about those big muscles. They need a lot of oxygen. And now here we go, 45. And their finger 
finger locking there on that side. 30 seconds to go, DeShazer's gotta get something going. Really just needs one big explosive go. There's a shot, good but defense from Seth Gross, 14 two. seconds now. He's got a ch little level change, they're gonna hit attention. These attentions with eight seconds, oh, 12 Gross, seconds left. Oh, he timed it well. Eight, nine, can well, he get a turn? He needs it. Oh, oh my <laughs> so close, but no. Five seconds to go, that's still enough time on the clock for a score. What does it for him? He only needs one. Looking for the duck, and oh man, oh my gracious. Oh, and a head that was I brutal. Don't think that was intentional. They that caught him right on the nose. Certainly unnecessary. Definitely dirty. 9 8, your winner, Seth Gross. Two straight matches, and he's going to fight Alex, taking on Dayton Fix.